Hey everybody and welcome to our first uh, digital tutorial about animation. Uh, we are going to go over the very basics today in Keynote. Uh, if you're not familiar with Keynote, you will find it down here in your, tool, in your toolbar and it's kind of like this little pedestal here. If you click on that Keynote option, it will take you to a screen that looks like this where you're going to choose a theme. We're just going to stick with the white theme uh, for this one. So if you just click on the white theme and click the choose button, it will open up onto your screen just like this. And what we're basically going to do today is have three things going on. We are going to create a oval. Let me go ahead and zoom this out a little bit. We're going to create a circle that's going to come into the screen, roll down a hill and break this block right here. Uh, seems very basic, but I want you to see how I piece this together because you're going to uh, learn the format tools while we go through this. So if we were to preview this, the ball drops, rolls down the hill and breaks the square. Uh, this is all about timing. When you do an animation, you want to make sure that the timing is correct. So if we were to watch this again, notice as the ball slows down, it starts to pick up speed. And right as it hits the brick uh, or this block, it's starting to crumble. All right, let's actually build this animation on a brand new slide. So if we go to add slide, we're going to go to this one right here. I'm going to get click and delete all of these boxes. Just click on it and delete it. Before we move on, we always want to save our work, file save as. And I want you to save it as, oh, let's make sure. Oh, because it's already saved, then it's just not allowing me to resave it. Uh, but you want to save it as uh, Animation Basics, I believe is what it did, Animation 1. Just save it as Animation 1, Animation Basics, or uh, Number 1, whatever you want to do so that you know where it's at. You have your shape options up here. We're going to start with, again, basic tools, and then we're going to move on to a little bit more advanced stuff as we progress through the week where we can actually use photos. But we're going to grab the circle, and we're just going to make a ball out of the circle. If you hold down the Shift key while you are dragging, it will make the circle a perfect shape. Just like that. You can change the color by going over to your Format option on the right-hand side, going to Style, and changing the fill color to whatever you'd like. So let's just make it green. We'll make everything a little bit of a different color. Now to make the uh, road or the ground that's slightly tilted, I'm going to take a triangular shape like this, and I'm going to stretch that triangular shape out until I get it to the size that I want it. Now normally when you're using Keynote, you're using it for presentation purposes. If you're doing like a PowerPoint presentation, uh, you would use Keynote instead. It's actually pretty strong software to animate in. And these are, again, the very basics. Uh, but you'll see as we go through this um, that you can do quite a bit uh, just with the very basics of this. So let me drag the bottom down. All right, we don't want this tilted too much. So here's the deal. If I want to rotate my shape right here, I can go up to my Arrange option and I have a Rotate option right here. I can rotate it little by little by clicking onto this or I can rotate using the handle, uh, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and use this little piece right here. And that looks like a good shape. Now, anything that is not on the screen will not be shown. So if you go off the screen, don't worry about it. That's not a big deal. That's just not gonna be seen uh, when you zoom in. So we have a little bit of a ground that's tilted here. Let's go ahead and put our ball right down onto that shape like this. And then we are going to create a block shape. So let's go to our shape menu, create a block. Uh, we'll go ahead and just grab a square and extrude that square out. Again, if you need to rotate it, um, for this purpose, I'm gonna change the color, go back to your format option and your style option, and you can change the fill color. Let's do something different so we have different colors for everything. And let's make that big and extend that out like so and pop it right there on the ground. I'm also going to extend it all the way to the edge. Now, just so that you can see, this box right here is where you're working in, so you don't need to worry about anything that's outside the box. If you go to your play option, you'll see that it's only gonna show what's in the box, so that's all that you're worried about. Now we're gonna start animating, so go ahead and click Command S to save your work, and we're gonna start animating the ball drop. Now the way to animate, and the most important thing I want you to remember for the first video, is when you go to this little animate tab right here, you're going to have an add effect option. 
And right down here, you're going to have what's called a build order. This is very important. This build order is going to be your lifesaver for knowing where everything starts. So if you click on the circle, okay, you're going to do a build in effect. Now, build in means it's going to come onto the screen. An action is going to do something on the screen. And then a build out means it's going to leave the screen. So we do want the ball to drop onto the screen. So we're going to go to add an effect. And we are going to go to drop. Now you can drop, um, you can make the drop option uh, faster or slower, depending on if you drag this little slider here, which is your seconds, you can make it quicker or slower. You'll notice if you make it a little bit slower, it will bounce more. Notice the bouncing on there. And if you take this down, uh, the seconds down, and then you preview it, it will be a little bit more like a heavy ball where it just drops. Let's go ahead and do maybe a 0.9 here. You can change that on yours. It's not a big deal, whatever you want to do on there. And we're going to go ahead and preview this. That's perfect. Once it drops and it stops, I'm going to have it start to roll. So in order for me to have that roll, I have to go to an action button. So notice that right here I have my circle. My first build order is drop. And if I preview it, it drops onto the screen. Now I'm going to add an action. If I click on the action, I'm going to add an effect and I'm going to move the ball on the screen. What it'll do is it'll automatically move it and you can actually change this and move it anywhere you want. I want to move it all the way past my block so it's going off the screen. Let me bring my build order over here. And I'm going to move it off the screen. You can also make it smaller which is going to come in handy later, so it almost looks like it is going to be going farther away. But I'm going to leave it the same size for now. Make sure it is the same size. There we go. And I'm going to extend it all the way past my block. And notice here that I have a drop, a move, and my scale option I did not want. That was what I did when I showed you you can make it smaller. If I do not want something, I can't just hit the delete key. I actually have to, let me take it back over here. I have to go to my scale where it says scale, change, and click none, and it will delete it. So right now I have a drop, let's preview it, a drop and a move. Notice how it picks up speed a little bit too fast. If it drops and it starts to roll, that's rolling a little bit too quick. So we wanna change the speed of the move. If we click on move, we want to change the speed a little bit, maybe slow it down. So we're going to have to up this a little in preview. And that starts to look a little bit better. You can also mess around with these acceleration points. You have an ease in and an ease out point. So if you preview that, it's just going to kind of ease its way into the roll. If you do ease out, let's check out and see what that does. That just means it's going to slow down as it gets to the end. And if you do ease both, that's just going to give kind of a steady uh, piece. I don't think we need any of those. We can take it off and preview it. That's perfect. I do want it to be a little bit faster. So let's down the seconds here, the duration speed, and check it again. What you will notice with animation is you're going to constantly go back and adjust all the time. Perfect. So if we preview this, if we click and shift click our build order, the two things that we've done so far in preview, it drops and it starts to go. It's going a little bit too fast after it drops. So here's how we fix that. Notice you have number one, number two. If you go to your move option and you start it after build one, that means it's going to automatically drop and then start to move after build one. Let's preview it. And let's give it a little bit of a delay here. If we give it a delay, it'll stop and then move. And that's what we want. Okay, so again, when you're dealing with the duration and the delay, you gotta have to adjust these as you go. Let's save again as we're going. And we're almost done with our first basic little animation. Uh, let's preview it one last time. If you click and shift click the other one, highlight it, preview, drops, rolls. And once it hits this, we want this thing to completely blow up or bust. So if we click on this rectangle, we do not want any build-in effect, and the reason we don't want a build-in effect is because we want this to stay here on screen. We don't want it to come into the screen. So if we say no build-in effect, that's perfect. We don't need any action effect because nothing's happening to it until the very end of the screen. So we're going to do what's called a build-out effect. 
go here, add an effect. And we've got a couple things, fall apart, crumble. If it crumbles, looks kind of cool from right to left. You can actually change these from right to left, crumble. Or you can randomize this where it just kind of crumbles all together. We do want, since the ball is hitting left to right, we do want our crumble to go left to right. And maybe we want it to be a little bit faster. Let's lower the seconds and preview. All right, so we have drop, move, and crumble. We also can change this anytime we want, and we can see about falling apart. Maybe falling apart might look a little bit better. Let's see what happens. Okay. No, that just kind of leaves the screen. That's not as good. So what about confetti? Ah, that just kind of busts all the way up. No gravity or gravity. Let's check out what gravity does. Boom, that kind of blows up. I think what we're going to do is the break apart. We'll do the crumble. There we go. Left to right. Uh, you don't need to be worried about the order. The order means right here. It's order number three, which is what we want. The delivery all at once is fine. This is when you're doing uh, font or text. You would deal with that. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we were to preview all of this together. Click and shift click all of these. Let's check it out. All right, notice the timing. When this hits, it should crumble. So what do we have to do to do that? We have to adjust our crumble. So if we click on this and we say start after build two. So after it moves, we want it to crumble. Click on after build two and let's preview it again. Okay, it's still a little bit of a delay on there. So if we go ahead to the crumble and we put a delay Let's see what happens now. Okay. All right. Let's try one more thing here because we're obviously not getting it exactly how we want it. That's getting close. So if we were to do with build to, let's check that out. Okay, it's crumbling a little bit too early. Let's add a little bit of a delay to it. Let's do 30, uh, 0.3 seconds. That is almost getting there. We're going to up that again. Let's do 0.5 in preview. Drop, move, crumble, so close. Let's go to 7 and check it out. And that is pretty much perfect. So as you can see here, we've got our build order. Drop, move, and crumble. Now this is very basic. Okay, This is three shapes. This is dropping onto the screen, creating an action where it's running down our path, and crumbling this block. For today's purpose, this is all we're going to do uh, because I want you to get used to, again, the timing and how I built this in build order. You can always go back and adjust anything that you want. So if you wanted to adjust the size of the ball, let's just say the size of the ball starts out bigger and goes smaller as it goes, we can always go back and it will change it automatically as it goes down. So you can go back and change these however you want, whenever you want. Okay. Um, again, very important to remember today. Build order, always keep in mind what is coming first. And your build in means bringing something on the screen. Your action is it moving on the screen. And your build out is when something leaves the screen. All right. If we go to our play option, you'll see that everything is off the screen. I will click my mouse, start the animation, and there we have what we just built. All right. This is going to help us when it comes to the next part that we're going to do, which is going to be a little bit more complicated. So try this on your own and make sure that you have the timing down correct. Uh, you can add any kind of colors you want onto this. And until we get to the next piece uh, tomorrow, have fun with this and good luck.